Now, this picture you're looking at here, Tiger Woods with his legendary coach back from the early 2000s, Butch Harmon. They're working on his right arm movement. With Butch with his hand out there, he is preventing Tiger Woods' right arm from getting behind him, which was a fault he had in his early career. Now, this is something that absolutely all of you can work on because having that right arm where you can see here, if we look at the picture again, elbow pointing down, right arm in front, that helps you to shallow the golf club, that helps you to rotate, that helps you to strike ball than turf pretty much every time and it helps you with much better power and consistency of club face. So of course, if Tiger Woods was doing it in his prime, Absolutely, the best a golfer has ever played ever in the history of mankind. This is something we need to do because what we see golfers continually do, if Butch Harmon was standing there with his hand out, just like we saw with that picture, golfers would be hitting him really early in the backswing with their arm or even early in the downswing. That elbow would be plummeting into his hand. That will steepen the shaft. That will slow down your rotation. That will make you flippy, awful strikes, loss of control, club face, the bad golf you've been playing. So let's talk about how to do this Tiger Woods right arm down, right elbow down towards the ground to hit way better golf shots. And it honestly be shockingly easy at how easy it is to hit those good golf shots. Now I've got two absolutely really simple drills to do with you here, but before we go and dive into those drills to do in your practice and feelings for the golf course, let's talk about a little bit more in detail of why this is so beneficial. Because if we just blindly do this without understanding the why, we're never gonna have ownership over this movement. We're never gonna, never gonna have ownership over our golf game. So like we said in the intro, right arm being more in, elbow pointing down. That is ultimately what we call right shoulder external rotation. It's just like someone's beating you in an arm wrestling match. That's good in the golf swing. So we want to have that movement because like we say, that helps for a bunch of things. Shallowing the shaft, rotation, all the good stuff, good ball striking. But more in depth here, when that right elbow is pointing more down, it stays in front of the seam line of our shirt. So my gilet here stays in front of the seam line. Now, when that right arm is in front of the seam line, we cannot get it stuck in the golf swing. So backswing, it won't be stuck. Downswing, it won't be stuck. That means the arms are gonna be more in front of your pivot, not in front as in over the top, in front as in under control. And that's gonna help us massively to be able to continue to turn the downswing and have good ball striking. When that right arm's getting in front, just like the classic Ben Hogan right arm in front, which this makes it so much easier to do that. That's really gonna help drive everything nicely forward and have you have really good ball striking. Ultimately makes the arms and the hands under control by the body. So this is where my classic thing I always talk about on this channel, turning the hands and arms off. You don't need to feel anything with those arms to be able to get this movement happening. So you then can have your hands and arms nicely just turn themselves off to where you can turn that body and strike good golf shots. So this is absolutely awesome for players because so many players think, okay, if I'm gonna, let's say, feel nothing with my arms, I'm gonna get stuck with my arms. Of course, as we know, if that right arm is staying nicely in front, that elbow pointing down, we can't have that right arm get stuck behind us. So that's where we can have those nice feels and have that good result, that good body rotation. Like we said, it helps tremendously with body rotation in that downswing. It'll be nicely in that slot so we can just turn through. Again, I'm only really doing one little move there with my arm. I'm not technically, when we get into the drill of this, feeling anything for the downswing. It's more for that backswing of having that position just like we saw Butch and Tiger having that right elbow down. And what it also forces you to do is stay down on the golf ball. Now, by nature, when we rotate better, we are gonna be staying down on it. But when we're having that right arm, that right elbow staying in front of that seam line, you have to stay down on the golf ball to be able to hit the shot. So that's where when golfers do the opposite, they have that elbow shoot behind them to where this big gap forms between their arms. That puts you into internal shoulder rotation like you are winning the arm wrestling match. Don't want to win an arm wrestling match in the golf swing. So that's where that get that right elbow points behind, hitting Butch's hand. And then from there, right arm is then stuck behind. You have to then stand the body up to extend the right arm to hit the shot. You have to get that right arm back in front could also see golfers at times, chuck the right arm out early, swing over the top from there. So that's where it's gonna, by nature as well, keep you down in that posture to be able to do this. So 
Without me saying any more, you can understand why it helps. Let's get into the drills and the feels to be able to get this into your swing. So here is how we work with the drills and feels to get it in there. So when we're having that right elbow staying down with that right arm in front of that seam line, ultimately what we're gonna see there when we do this, look at the gap between my arms. See how it's quite small, where conversely, if I get that right elbow behind, getting that hidden butcher's arm, that lawnmower start and feel that I talk about, look at the space between the arms, it's huge to where that's gonna get me in that internally rotated shoulder position, which we don't want. So, absolutely, we want to have that gap stay small. Now, this is incredibly important. You're gonna find it impossible to have that gap stay small if you set up to the golf ball like this with your right elbow pointing inward. It's gonna be impossible. So that inside of the elbow pointing this way towards the target. See so many golfers like this. That means they are at set up internally rotating their shoulder to where the only place they can move there is now in with the arm. We want to set up to the golf ball like this. So you can see underside of the elbow pointing at you guys, grip the club from there. Now I'm in a position where I can keep that elbow down, have a nice folding up of the arm. I like to think of the backswing of the right arm being a lift, slight lift whilst you turn, but having that nice half bicep curl movement. So a full bicep curl, just bringing that right forearm to the bicep, half bicep curl, it's just half a repetition there. That's gonna keep that gap nicely between the arms. That's gonna have that nice downward elbow move, not behind, in front of the seam line. So keeping that gap, nice setup position. You can think of half bicep curl with that right arm. That's gonna keep it there because the trick for this is all in the backswing. It is a backswing thing that carries on for good things in the downswing. So if we are having that right arm in that nice position at the top, the downswing, we ultimately don't really need to think much about it at all. It will stay there, which is what we want. So we want the goal swing to be easier. Then we could just turn off those arms. They'll stay nice in front of the pivot. You'll just be able to turn. That's what we want to do. So now we talked about that feel. Let's get straight into the drill to get it there. Because I always have the saying, drills create the feels. That's why I talk about it so much on my channel. If you want to feel for the golf course or you want to get something into your swing, you're not gonna get there if you don't do a drill. That's where, grab a ball. So this is where I've got Tour Striker Smart Ball. Any type of small type of ball like this would be great. Put it in between your arms, just like so. Just like forearms here, make sure you've got that good setup position. What's this gonna do? This is gonna keep that gap between your arms constant. So if you have that right elbow go behind, down it goes. So of course, what do you wanna do? You wanna keep this in between your arms for the entirety of the swing. It will keep that right elbow pointing down. It will keep it nice in front of you in that downswing. Keep it in between the arms the entire way. Like we said, golf swing is gonna be shockingly easy when you do that. So drill number two is one that you do in between shots and you can do this at home as well to really get you the feel. And it'll really help you with your shoulder joint mobility as well, which would be awesome. Because I have terrible shoulder joint mobility, but you can see from this video, I can do the movement. So bad flexibility, bad mobility is not a cop out for this. It's not an excuse. You can do this even for someone like myself, terrible flexibility of the shoulder. That's as much external rotation I can do. Most people can get it way more back than there. So, okay, here we go. Grab the club by the head. This is called the nunchuck drill. Bring it to where it's just on the right-hand side of your right forearm. So then, as there, you grip with your left hand, the grip. Turn up to the top in golf posture. Look, we've done that. You've got it in that good spot. So this is isolating the right arm move. So turning all the way up to the top, brilliant. And then you can turn down the downswing, maybe give it a little pull. And that will really, really stretch out that shoulder capsule. So you're just pulling there, that grip forward as you're turning, really stretches out that shoulder, but that gets you as well exaggerating it. When we're doing drills without the golf ball, we want to exaggerate. We want to do what we want to do, but a little bit more so. So, because with the golf swing, we know feel isn't real. We want to exaggerate it a ton. So that's where we have to feel like we're moving a mile to move an inch in the golf swing. So going up here, it gets you in that perfect spot. Boom, going through. So we could do that at home. We could do that in between shots. Good setup spot, right elbow, underside of it pointing forward. Feel those feels that you've just done from the drill. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. If you can do that, you are gonna have a much easier goal. So mastering the right arm is so important. As you could see from like we said, that thumbnail, that beginning of the video, Tiger Woods with his legendary coach, Butch Harmon. Absolutely. 
I had some pretty good success doing that. So if you want to have some good success in your golf game, go and do it. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.